Yo, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jojo, and yeah, I'm grateful for the love. If you're if you're new here, welcome. If you're coming for the other second time or you're coming back to rewatch my videos, thank you. And um, um I'm honestly grateful for the love that you guys have shown me and you have stuck with me since my day one, which was April the twentieth. And yeah, I'm so happy and grateful. <laughs> glory to God because he is the one who puts that desire in you to come and watch my content despite me not being so consistent in posting but yes I'm trying and I want to be really consistent and be posting two videos minimum per week and yeah beginning next week I'm going to put more effort because yeah I think I want to keep you not I think I really want to keep you guys watching my content and also supporting me and as I grow we shall grow together so today did I say my name? yeah so my name is Jojo and welcome and don't forget to watch and if you need if you really need to know how to get the Kenyan passport for those who don't know the process and yeah it's not a tedious one but you need to get to know some things and what are the requirements when you are taking the passport so let's dive straight into it i'll be talking about how to acquire the kenyan passport or the east african passport as at now that's what we are using so i have my two passports here so initially um back that was 2018 and we are yeah, this the passport we used kenya used to use which was just Kenyan. So right now we they switched to the East African passport, which is between Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania. And um, fun fact, the color of this passport is sky blue because it symbolizes Lake Victoria, which is in the middle of the three countries. So it's a sign of unity. So both my passports are 32 page which costs me 4550 and uh, or else that's 45 dollars we also have another one which is 48 page it goes for 7500 we also have a diplomatic passport i don't know how much it costs and we also have a temporal passport which you can take when you're in agency and you really don't have time to wait for this part passport which takes like a month for it to be processed so you can always go to nyayo house or any other any other government office that they have linked in their website and you should be able to acquire your passport so for you to be able to take a passport you need mm, you need an i not an id number you need a birth certificate because they require that pin it's not a pin it's a serial number that they require to process you also need your a copy of your id and you also need a copy of your parents id or your guardians photocopies of their id ids uh you also need like to have an e-citizen account where you're supposed to fill in the details like um, your location, your sub-county, your province, and, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> that's how we have been taught to cough nowadays, and so, it's not a cough per se, but yeah, <coughs> just fold your elbow and cough, so yeah, you're required to ha to fill that form first, and then you're going to print it as you take your documents, you also need um, two passport size photos but once you get there you'll also be taken a, pa a, a passport photo which will appear on the front not the front but the, the last page this the last this uh in the old one it used to be on the last page that's where they used to attach the photo but right now they are attaching the passport that they take on the second last page of your passport this passport is an e-passport that it's an e-passport that's why it has this chip 
and yeah i think i still prefer this one it looks it was more i think it was more what can i call it i like this one because it, it's even lighter this one because of the material of the cover it's a bit um what is this called it's a bit heavier compared to this one and yeah so those are the main things that you need to repair and then you need to go to any center it can be nyayo house or else it can be nakuru um um, Nakuru, Mombasa or Eldoret where they also have branches so you can go and take your passport details not passport details but passport papers that you'll have the filled and downloaded from your e-citizen account and you have to have paid your fee that is 4550 and you shall print the invoice and on the day you'll be taking them to to Nyayo House or any of those offices they have countrywide you can you should always have them because without that you'll not be given your pro, your passport will not be processed uh, um, nowadays you have to book when you're filling the details online you have to book an appointment date meaning if you don't have an appointment date you can't be able to go to your house and take your details but back in 2018 and 26 2018 backwards there was no like slot for having an appointment date you could just appear and your passport will be processed so it takes 10 working days but to be honest it takes like a month where you're able to take your passport but on urgent cases there is a express counter where you take your part where you take your details and your passport is processed within i think three days that's what happened to me when this passport was being processed it took me three day three working days because i took my papers my paperwork on monday and by thursday my passport was ready and yeah so please if you need more clarification you can just check the portal or else the government portal on um, ip uh, passports not a passport but um what do we call it um, immigration yeah the immigration department they'll have more details on how to acquire this passport or else how to process and everything in case i didn't cover anything but uh, must have point one you must have your birth certificate original birth certificate two you must have your photocopy of your id three your parents or your guardian photocopies of their ids three two photo two passport size photos five the the papers that are in the e-citizen so you have to print them out and six you must have your invoice to show that you have paid the for th the fee just pay, like for the 32 you have to pay 4500 for the 48 you'll have to pay 7500 and for the, for the diplomats i don't know how much they charge or else i also don't know for the temporal or passport how they charge uh, number seven what else you should need to have booked your appointment by the time you are taking your paperwork to any of the centers in the country and so yeah so go grab your copy of the go grab your passport and let's be ready to travel because i believe you learn a lot of things from tra traveling because you experience different cultures different languages you learn to um, network with different people not getting just used to things you are used all, all your life so you get to experience and get to shift your mindset because if your mindset just is fixed with everything you think is good is back home that's a lie so we need to all of us need it's something that's affordable like if you really need to travel and experience different cultures you can always decide to invest in yourself that's by first acquiring a passport and to 
being ready and start saving like for the flights um the, for the bn air hotel that is airbnbs and yeah we shall be set and be ready to travel so i hope i didn't blab a lot when making this this video and i hope i was helpful but in case of anything feel free to leave a question on the description box or else you can dm me on my instagram account where i'll also link the my page my instagram page on the at the in the comment in the description below and yeah thank you for being there for me thank you for showing me the love and thank you for being consistent till next time bye bye